You've heard the expression that great things can come in small packages. Well, you're looking at it right here. 1967 Chevy Nova has a 383 stroker with a big supercharger, dual quad Fitec uh, fuel injection system, TCI chassis front to back, overdrive automatic, leather interior, power windows. This thing's got a lot to offer. The quality is excellent. It's fast, and yet it's a cruiser. 2100 RPMs, and you're doing 80 miles an hour. Uh, this big binder has all the specs you'll want uh, to reference once you own the car. Go to volocars.com. We have over 200 cars right now for sale, the best inventory I've ever had. Prices, descriptions, even monthly finance option is on every car. But for right now, buckle up. Let's go for a spin. The body is absolutely slick as can be. It's jet black. And you might have noticed, but you probably didn't, it has ghost stripes. Now, we'll get to that in a minute. But the body, absolutely straight. I mean, laser beam straight. It's black, and it's not hiding anything. It is straight. The body gaps are right on the money. I mean, that is square and flush as you will ever get. Opens so easily. Shuts like a new car. The roof is straight. Quarter panels are clean, straight. All this is really, really straight. And again, the gaps, the lines up, spot on the money like a Lexus. Straight, clean, no rust. I haven't seen a bubble, a bump, a crack. This door fits just as nice. I mean, that, that's right on the money right there. But I can open it with, well, one finger. I don't think I can do it with my pinky, but opens and closes real nice. Absolutely clean, straight, jet black paint. Uh, getting to the paint, yeah, it's polished out like glass. They're burgundy SS stripes. You don't feel them. They are metal flake. They're on the uh, hood and the trunk. There's about just under 4,000 uh, miles on the entire car since it's been done. And it looks like it was just done yesterday. I don't see nicks, chips, bubbles, cracks. Paint's in beautiful shape. There's some marks, I don't even know how to describe them. There's, maybe there's stains, I don't feel them at all. It feels like Teflon up there, but there's some little marks in the paint. I don't even see chips on the edge of the door. All that's nice and clean. Now right here is a Chevy bow tie and it says Nova SS. That's also burgundy metallic under the clear. You don't feel it, you barely see it. Yeah, the paint's outstanding. Here's the two stripes on the trunk as well. Tail lights, bumper, that all looks like new. Glass is crystal clear. I'm sure it's been replaced. It's too nice. All the stainless trim, buffed out like chrome. Here's some little imperfections. It looks like there was dust in the paint. Well, imperfect, not bubbles, not cracking. Just like when they sprayed it, something uh, looks like some dust. All this trim, buffed and polished, it's all straight. The vent window frame looks like it's new chrome. The rubber's soft. There's a bow tie mirror that looks like new. I think all the glass is replaced. I'll check that. Windshield is new. Door handles, real shiny. They've been replaced. So it's sitting on some torque thrust wheels. They're real nicely polished. They are extra wide and back. Hand-cooked tires, they're skinnies in front. Obviously, you got this big scoop that opens and closes with the throttle. Uh, the hood is notched out real nicely. Uh, does not touch when you open it. It has curled edges, so they did a good job with that. The grill, the front bumper, everything up here, we'll call it a nine just to be safe, but it all sparkles real nice. Bow tie mirror on this side. Weather strips are replaced. So why don't we open it up? Got a nice stance. I got so much more to show you. All right, let's look inside the trunk. Underneath the trunk, all gloss black. 
GM is painted nice, weather strip is nice, but check out the inside of it. This is all boxed and upholstered and stitched all the way around. It's got that premium tight loop carpet with bound edges. Uh, this panel does pull out. Not sure what's back there. Uh, over here is a little panel that opens, and there's your CD changer. You can load the CDs. Uh, battery box, obviously the battery's relocated to the trunk. Real nice trunk compartment. Yeah, the guy intentionally built this engine to drive the car. With the overdrive trans, he said it just cruises down the, the highway. Jams are painted slick. Door panels are actually custom made in genuine leather. The armrest pads are actual leather. All the metal trim inside is painted real nice and slick. It does have power windows. So the dash is all restored. It's all painted. It's got new knobs, factory style gauges, but they've all been replaced. Uh, so it has over 4,000 miles, 4,200 miles since it's been built. There's only about 1,200 on the motor. A uh, new dash pad, uh, touch screen stereo. It's also a backup camera, all nice and clean. Custom kick panels with the tweeters built right in. We've got working interior lights. Again, the premium square loop carpet with bound edges, all fits beautifully. Factory center console with the overdrive indicator. The seats are actual leather seats, and I tell you what, they are firm and comfortable. I'm sitting in this seat like, wow, I want to make a desk chair out of these. Uh, so really nice actual leather seats. And the button is kind of stiff. So it does have a roll bar. It doesn't seem to really interfere. You can still use the back seat in its entirety. Uh, the back seat's also all soft leather. Seat belts are uh, back here. Uh, side panels, armrests, all leather. Power back windows. The rear shelf and the entire headliner is suede. It is a perforated material, little tiny holes in it, just like the original. There were some tweeters and speakers in the back. Working dome light, matching visors, mirror. And then I kind of skimmed over. We do have a couple gauges here. You got a tachometer with a shift light. Uh, it can light up and tell you when to shift. And then a boost gauge for the uh, supercharger. Real nice steering wheel on a tilt column. So very nice, very classy interior. Again, these seats, you'll know what I mean when you sit in it the first time. I don't want to get out. I really don't. So let's take a second and check this out. I mean, this is just cool sticking out of the hood like that. But this moves so gently and just look how nice it is. It's not rubbing, touching. You don't have to finagle it. It just opens up with no problems. So about 1,200 miles ago, we took the motor out of here. It was just too radical and got a Blueprint racing engine. Uh, I shouldn't say racing engine, but a Blueprint crate engine. It has Flowtech aluminum heads, comp cam, uh, and on top is a 671 uh, Wyand uh, supercharger blower, all polished up on top. Dual four barrel Phytec fuel injected, uh, I'll call them carburetors, but all premium lines and fittings and fuel pumps all the way to the back. It's got a set of headers. The engine bay is beautiful. Uh, polished aluminum radiator and overflow with dual electric fans. Everything's polished the pulleys, uh, alternators, chrome. Got nice breathers and valve covers, custom made inner fenders, all smooth. All these bars, it helps the, keep the car from twisting, including the roll bar inside. It's just gonna make it go straight and handle much better. There's a billet uh, master cylinder. I was told it has ABS, that's what's in the notes. And there is a third line coming out of it and there is some contraption underneath the car. It might be the ABS system. 
But this is, uh, this is show quality. And let me tell you, it's got the muscle to back it up, which Caleb's about to demonstrate for you. Test driving 67 Nova. And some of these cars, they sure look intimidating, so we'll put it to the test and see how she actually does. This build, I was just impressed with it uh, getting in the car. Everything's very solid, there's no rattles, it's quiet in the cab, there's no wind noises. I mean, it's, it feels like I'm in a more modern car right now. Drives nice over the bumps. The suspension is a little bit more firm, but you don't even hear it. It's just a very quiet car, even for how much of a monster it is. The steering is nice and tight on it. The power brakes feel really good. No hang-ups, no dragging left or right. Try the turn signal. It lights up. Let's, uh, let's put some foot to the pedal, see what she's got. Okay. <laughs> awesome car. Awesome car. We're cruising right now. Highway speed. No shakes, nothing. This thing tracks straight as an arrow. You're getting your money's worth out of this car. There's no way you could build it for what we're asking. Uh, I guarantee the build probably cost almost twice as much. I got the heat on, uh, that's working. Horn works, it's got a nice touch screen in it. AM, FM, and Bluetooth. Just gotta find a channel. It was on a channel before, so it does work. I did listen to the radio. It's got a nice sound system in it too. Look at that, you come to a stop, it idles real nicely. Yeah, this is very streetable. The uh, previous owner, Put this motor in because it was more street friendly. He also had it dyno tuned and road tuned for drivability. And it shows this thing performs, but you can also cruise it. I mean, I'm just floating over the gas pedal right now. No, no cuts in the throttle whatsoever. It's just smooth all the way through the power band. I'm impressed with this one. You, you guys will like it. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, I don't think my enthusiasm was really strong enough for this car. The 66, 67 Novas, they are a cool looking car. They're the perfect car to be hot rodded because they're lightweight. They're handsome looking cars. And this thing was done right. It's got a motor under there that's cool. It's tough. It's fast, but yet cruise down the highway. It has a luxurious leather interior. It has a black paint job that a, so slick a fly couldn't land on it. And there's a lot more than that. It has a TCI chassis front to back. That's the Mustang II style front independent suspension, custom front subframe, tubular control arms, coil over adjustable shocks, custom sway bar, rack and pinion steering. Then it has the frame connectors going to the back, again, preventing the twisting. And then they're tied together in the middle of the big support which also serves as a drive shaft safety loop. The drive shaft goes through it, so if it ever comes loose, it's not gonna catapult you. Uh, and then in back, it's a four link system, all tubular control arms, has a diagonal pan hard bar, uh, coil over adjustable shocks. I mean, you can tell by looking at them, they're the good ones. And all the specs are in there. I didn't have four hours to read all those today. Uh, new fuel system is painted shiny. Has some, you can tell again by looking, real premium fuel pumps and fuel lines and fittings. Really nice dual exhaust system. It's all welded, it's fat, has X-pipe, has dumps, 
It's all tucked up real nice underneath there with turned down tips. Uh, just tastefully done. It looks like it's ceramic coated. It's all shiny silver. Uh, it has a Curry uh, brake system. It's four wheel disc brakes, all new lines. Even the lines are neatly bent and run along the frame rails real nice. Uh, E-brake assembly is all custom and new. You look up at the motor, uh, high torque starter. It's, it's all fresh looking. Uh, it's a 200R4 overdrive automatic. I think it's Bill Carr. It, it's, it's in the description on our website. He's known for performance overdrive transmissions. Uh, it's one of his transmissions in there. Has a remote oil cooler, has a chrome pan. Custom drive shaft leads back to a heavy duty Curry nine inch rear end with the heavy duty axle package. Um, the floors are all clean, rock solid with a light undercoat. It has been reconstructed back here. It does have mini tubs for the wider tires. Uh, so just the chassis under this car would be tens and tens of thousands of dollars to have built at a shop. This paint job would be 30, 40 grand. The, the interior, the motor, the wheels, on and on. This is one heck of a car. Someone's really going to enjoy this one. Uh, even the mechanic was raving about it. We go through the car, give it a complete inspection. He replaced a brake light bulb and a ground and a reverse light. So that's all he had to do to it. Now, all you have to do is hit the buy it now button. You go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman about your questions. They'll help get this delivered to your door, help you get it financed. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon to be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.